Hey guys, it's Carrie. Welcome back to the channel. And today I'm very excited uh, to, to to do an unboxing and um, talk about uh, this doll here. So this is the I Love Bambi. She's been out for a little while. Um, I've kind of pulled I pulled away and didn't want to admit that I actually really love the Disney Illy Forever dolls. This one though is not put out by the Disney Store. This is one of the ones that's put out by Jack Specific, and this is Celebrate Disney. This is 100 on it, so I don't know. My theory is that these these are going to be a short lived line that's just um, celebrating Disney. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe there'll be more. Um, but uh, this one in particular is a is a fan girl. She's a so anyone who doesn't know the the Illy dolls are basically about. Uh, frequent Disney goers, and when you go to Disney, you uh, you can't dress up as the character. You can dress up representing the character inspired by. I I don't know anyone who would dress up like Bambi and get away with it, or even be comfortable with it. But I mean, I guess that's another thing to be said. But uh, she's influenced by Bambi, and everything on her is Bambi color schemed or Bambi themed. Uh, there, uh, I noticed with the uh, with the Jack Pacific dolls, they come with completely separate. Like, two outfits. Uh, the Disney ones come with an outfit piece to mix and match with what they're already wearing. Um, she has, like, two pairs of shoes, um, a hat, two purses, two shirts, two skirts. So you can do a lot with this. And But she doesn't. they don't come with um, the Mickey Mouse ears or the Minnie Mouse ears uh, that the ones from Disney come with. They come with a ring for you, which, as I was saying to Elijah off camera, this I may be lucky that it will fit my... My pinky sausage finger. But we'll see. Um, so the box art shows Bambi in here with a bunch of um, butterflies. Bambi over here again. And then on the back here it says, I love Bambi. Create your own Bambi-inspired looks. Mix and match 10 plus pieces. It shows uh, your girl in three different variations of the outfit stuff. Um, and then on the bottom it says, look for more Disney-inspired dolls. Um... I love Mickey Mouse. Well, I love yeah, I love Mickey Mouse. I love Stitch and I love Versa. Now, the day that I went and picked this up a, a few days back, she was on sale for ten dollars off. The other girls were not at my Walmart, but I went to another Walmart and she wasn't on sale either. So I guess it all depends on what Walmart you go in. Which, unfortunately, they're not created equal. So I think I've babbled enough about the stall. Let me go ahead and get her out of her box, and uh, we'll take a look at a closer look at her and her pieces. Be right back. You guys, how beautiful is she? Okay, so I don't have a blonde-haired girl, so um, it was nice to add her to my collection. I love her cartoony look. I love it. Uh, so we have a, a pale skin with a nice peach blushing. Um, she also has a light pink, a little bit of sparkle um, eyeliner. So it's a little gl uh, glittery. Not glittery, yeah. Shimmery. A little shimmery. Uh, she has a dark blonde eyebrow that's nicely painted on there. And then I'll show you her hair. It is soft and silky and shiny and beautiful. Uh, it goes down right around her butt area. Actually, a little bit past her butt area. It is fully rooted. It is very nice. Uh, let's take a look at this. So we have a nice uh, part right here. So you can do some stuff with it. Um, yeah, it's rooted very well. Very well. Um, and then she's a closed lip with a shimmery. Um, I guess almost like a nude lipstick on there. I don't, I don't know. She's very, I, mm, I love her face sculpt so much. Um, so we're moving now. We have a long sleeve um, whitish pink t-shirt here with Bambi printed on. Uh, with Bambi with a butterfly and a bunch of flowers. Uh, she also is wearing, I don't know what kind of, I don't know if this is polyester or what this is, but it's, it's soft. It's like a plushy. It's almost like if you take a, a stuffed animal and you make it into a skirt. Um, but it's brown, which is interesting. And it poofs out just ever so slightly, um, giving it a really different look. She goes, with this purse is coming off here. Uh, so it's a brown purse, um, just over the shoulder. We get um, flowers and a deer print here. I don't know if it's supposed to be Bambi or just inspired by Bambi. 
And then on the other side, it, it just has a logo and then the pattern. I don't know. Does it open? Is it an open purse? It looks like it's got an open. It does. It does. It opens where the faux zipper is. And then uh, we have some paint metallic gold here to represent fake chains. And then back to whatever the brown material is supposed to represent. And there's also a little charm on the side here. A little swishy charm. There you go. So that's that. And then her boots. <sighs> I'm on the fence about them. I, I like the, uh, the design. I like that uh, she's got some gray heels on there. Um, some traction. Gray. Brown heels on there. And then some traction on it. And then also it's logo print on the on the bottom. We have a faux zipper, zipper here. Almost cowboy-ish look of the boot um, with the seam sewn. But there's no detail paint on the zipper, which is fine. I just don't like that part and how the articulation works with it. Because when you go to bend it, that happens and I don't like it. So I don't know if I'm going to like tall that tall boot of boots here, but I do like... Um, this hat is, is, is an absolutely gorgeous hat. The fit is perfect. I like the detail, how it's, how it singes right here. And I like that they added a little hidden Mickey on the top here, um, on this brown ribbon that goes on the top. And let's just see her fit. It fits her so perfect. It stays on her head, doesn't fall off. It's going to display well. I'm excited for that. Um, but, uh, these boots, I think I like a little bit more. Uh, they have the Bambi patterning in them and they're brown and it says B for Bambi on it. And then there's like that faux white fur that runs through it. So these I like better. And then the outfit, um, we have Bambi silhouettes with thumper on the top here on this. I don't know if this is supposed to look like a sweater, but it's all printed material. This, this, and this are different fabrics. Um, there is like a printed on, um, neckline, which doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad considering everything else is, and then this really gorgeous skirt. Um, it's like a, I don't know if it's velvet or not. Is that a real pocket? I don't think it is. Not a real pocket, but another hidden Mickey. Um, and these are, I think, these gold buttons are, look like they might be stamped on, glued on there. And oh, so soft. And then this purse is the Bambi head purse. And it's also functional, I believe. There you go. So, and then she also has this necklace here. That is gold. And it's got a Bambi head right there. A little flowers accenting, little pink flowers accenting it. And this is the ring that's supposed to fit, fit me. So let's try that ring on. Check it out, guys. It fits my pinky. But it is made of that glitter that's probably going to fall all over the place. Uh, it's, it's pretty glued on there. I like it. I like it. So let's get her in her second outfit. And then after I get her in her second outfit, I will show you in the, her in the outfit that I'm planning on displaying her in. Be right back. Okay, so this is her second look. We already went over all the outfit uh, pieces already, but I just wanted to show you it on her. And quite frankly, I love her second look, and I think that's what she's going to stay in for a while. Um, Behind the scenes note, these are stretchy, but the hands are, her hands are very, um, are thick. Unlike some other fashion dolls who have a little bit more petite, these are more of more sporty, normal hands. I don't think they come out, if anyone knows that the, for a fact that they, that they are, are, attachable and put back in let me know i don't want to force it because i do not want to break my girl i like her too much um <clears throat> articulation wise she's exactly the same as the other early girls so if you want to check out my full depth with her art articulation uh, you can do that there um other than that that's all i have for you guys today if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe sometime in the future you will probably see me uh taking a look at the other girls but um we're going to wait a while. <laughs> uh, we will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.